Hey, what's really good YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee Talk back with another video, guys. And Bosco Gonzo, it's his fight day. I didn't even realize that I haven't really been keeping up on the hype to this fight. Tapping in the comments, guys. Let me know who you got. Let me know if you're uh, tuning into this. What do you think we are in store for? You know what I mean? When it comes to these kind of, I guess, celebrity type boxing bouts, sometimes we get like a, a for real, real deal boxing match. Or sometimes it's more of like an exhibition. You know, I, I feel like it has a lot to do with if these dudes have really been training, if they're really in fighting shape. Because, I mean, let's be honest, man, you got to have your cardio game up if you really want to go in there and go for some rounds you know really be in there throwing some haymakers jabs and hooks and you know what i mean like you gotta have your cardio game up so tap in what do y'all think we're in store for but peep it spider loke spi took to the gram and um threw up a caption regarding the fight and it seems he definitely wants to see gonzo get that w and uh <laughs> you see the video he shared he said who you got uh gonzo or bosco no hundred five four three two one bullshit jewelry finna break you see the the jewelry fall on the ground and uh gonzo like grabs it and is like oh here here yo wouldn't that have been funny as hell if gonzo would have put it in his pocket and just dipped up out of there with it that would have been hilarious like i didn't even tune into this uh that's what uh this stare down or whatever you want to call it face off way in I don't know. I haven't really been keeping up on the fight like that. You feel me? But um, anyways, he says, I hope he gets Rose mode again. R.I.P. to Rose mode. Um, man, uh, Bosco will never be able to live that down. But it's kind of wild at the same time that like gave Bosco kind of birthed his Internet fame in a way. Like, am I lying? Am I wrong or am I right? Like if if uh, we already know Bosco was um you know doing his little rapping or whatever his rap one two and whatnot but the whole uh rosemo situation after the rosemo game situation had just went down like it, it really elevated bosco as far as being known on the net right like if that never happened to bosco would bosco ever had achieved that ig fame that internet fame he did and whatnot y'all let me know in the comments but spider lokes pulling for gonzo he says he wants to see bosco no hundred his words rose mode again and yo you see this post i didn't even see this uh gonzo had thrown up where he's got bosco next to um what is that a character from like that that jim henson's crystal something movie like those puppets creep me the hell out but people he put he put uh bosco's eyes and dreads and facial hair his goatee on the on the jim henson puppet or whatever man and he said pay-per-view salamander face international skull 100 will be taking a nap by the third round a thousand percent go follow so this was from some time ago i guess but I, I like i said i hadn't really been following you know the fight you know these dudes are gonna go at each other to you know get people bring some heat to the fight get people interested so once again, guys, tap in. Let me know who you got if you're tuning in and all that. But people, right? We know SBI and Bosco don't care for each other, right? These dudes went at each other numerous times. But people, this is just my take. Y'all comment. Let me know if you guys agree or not. But like how I was just talking about Bosco's, you know, run online, like his the wave that he had with his commentary and comedy and whatnot, you know, um, it always kind of seemed to me the reason because, you know, Bosco kind of started dissing SPI first. And it always kind of seemed to me where that came from, uh, you know, the issues between the two of them. Just just my take, like I said, let me know if y'all agree, was because Spider Loke's platform was was growing. You know, you know how SPI's got his podcast and everything. And, you know, SPI uh, took it to, to, to the YouTube platform and consistently pump the podcast out he's been doing it for a while bosco i think 
was mad about that. You know what I mean? Because it feels like Bosco's time kind of came and went as far as with his platform. Like, don't get me wrong. I know people still tune in, but I don't think it is what it was before. And I feel like he kind of missed out on the opportunity to really monetize it. So I think that was kind of why Bosco started taking shots at SBI. Like he was like, oh, he, he he's trying to be like me. But it's like, come on, man, it's the Internet. Everyone's making content. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't create the Internet. You didn't create a, a podcast or making videos or whatever you want to call it. So I always felt like that was kind of where their differences uh, started. But let me know. What do you guys think? Like has has Bosco his has his run kind of came and went like I feel like 2017, 18 Bosco, you know, was 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 super popular on IG and everything. And I feel like he should have, you know, more consistently got onto with YouTube and everything or on podcast platforms. Like, I feel like he didn't totally follow through the way we seen Spider Loke. I don't know. Y'all let me know if you agree, but hit the comments. Let's break down everything we discussed on this one. I thank y'all for tuning in. It's fight day, guys. Who you got? Sub to the channel is J Coffee Talk. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And I'm gone.